New Year's Eve brought in a lot of new things, if you want to call it that. One of them, of course, was a scandal that emerged where Dana White slapped his wife on camera. Yep, not the best moment for the UFC, right? Well, it looks like his mother has more to say about the incident. In this video, we'll be telling you all about her exposing comments, so stay tuned and let's go. First off, her comments were from 2011. You know what they say, that your past will always come back to haunt you. If White didn't have enough of that already, there's more in the mix. The MMA world is buzzing with anger and strong feelings towards the UFC president after the video of him and his wife came to light. When your mother warns the world about you, it's just not good. There's literally no coming back from something like this in White's own words. But the comments his mom made back in 2011 resurfaced and they put the incident into a whole lot of perspective. It's actually from an interview she did way back when to promote her son's autobiography. Sure, it was unauthorized and called Dana White King of MMA, but she also completely exposed him. In this case, all press isn't good press. She called him a vindictive tyrant who doesn't treat the women in his life properly at all. The thing is, you can usually believe these sort of things because who knows you better than your mom, right? Not only that, but she straight up said that he's not a good person. Ouch. To her, her son lost the human decency along the way, and he doesn't just mistreat women, he mistreats everyone, apparently. Up next, more details she revealed. You thought that was it? Oh no, she aired a lot of his dirty laundry out. Not the best thing to happen for a career if your mom says these kind of things, that's for sure. Lo and behold, here these comments are at the time of another scandal. A lot of what she said was pretty much public knowledge, to be honest. She started off by saying that everyone knows that he gives Tiger Woods a rung for his money, and in his department, sleeps around and treats women like they're disposable. Not only has he slept with many ring card girls, which she confirmed, but he took this kind of behavior to his own mother's house. You heard us, folks. His mom revealed that the UFC president slept with his sister-in-law in her home. It's safe to say this made her angry angry, as did anyone. As for his womanizing ways, she described him as being able to get any woman he wants, and of course, he goes after them a lot. Keep in mind, White is married. Whoa, man. No need to imagine how fed up his mom was. It was clear from her comments. As for the marriage, she spilled that he and his wife are always fighting with each other, like we all saw in the recent video. They tend to get physical fast. Don't know about you guys, but isn't MMA about keeping it within the ring and fighting fair? Anyway, his wife gave him a black eye on their honeymoon, the worst she had ever seen. Yikes. Coming up, Dana White's statements about the situation. Now we look at the man himself. Himself. Knowing everything that his mother said, he reiterated at a press conference that there's no way he can come back from something like this and that he has already faced his punishment. White went on to say that he has been labeled by people all his life based on his actions. The punishment in question? These labels precisely. Some people don't feel too happy about this specific statement, but more on that later. That being said, he took accountability and said that he did do it. The it, obviously, is that he slapped his wife. Life. There's no way to bounce back from that, and he knows it fully. He also talked about how he's gonna behave from here on out. Like always, once you do something wrong, you take all the steps you need and make sure it doesn't happen again. At least that's how he described it. For him, every day when he wakes up, he tries to be a better person than he was the last day. This is what he plans to do going forwards, knowing that there's no way he can fully redeem himself. Looks like he thought long and hard about how to handle something like this. And now, reactions to his statements. Shaheen Alsati was not having it. He tweeted that Dana did a horrible act and this form of punishment is simply how people will label him. Other than that, there will be zero repercussions. Simon Samano also doesn't feel too good about this. White talked about the idea of repercussions and said that if he has to leave the UFC, that means it'll hurt the company, his employees, and the fighters. He then said that he doesn't need to reflect, adding that he owned up to it and admitted that he was wrong. Sure, acknowledging it is one step, but what about the consequences? Samano responded to this statement on Twitter by pointing out how Dana said that he doesn't need to reflect. According to Simon, that's all you need to know to know his character. The writer elaborated by saying that your actions will stay with you forever isn't a punishment. To him, White will never punish himself for the domestic abuse he was a part of. He was not happy with the UFC 
president, because he also tweeted a picture of him at the press conference smiling. Apparently, that was his expression two minutes after being asked about the video. He just continued with the conference and accepted questions as if he had never done anything wrong. The writer pointed this out in his caption and said that there was no remorse on his face. To him, that didn't look like a man who was ashamed of what he had done. Now, let's look at how fighters attack the UFC head's lack of punishment for slapping his wife. Firstly, Dana's idea of punishment. How do you accurately punish someone and make sure their behavior changes? Of course, this is a question everyone has been asking since the dawn of time, and no one seems to have a clear answer. Well, some do and some don't. In this case, White talked about the consequences that will bring him down for the rest of his life. People are not buying it, that's for sure. After clarifying that he won't face charges or won't have to leave his company, he came to his actual punishment. For the UFC president, this means that he he has lost the respect of many people. Fighters, the media, friends, the general public, and everyone who had respect for him before don't have it anymore. Well, for him, that's enough. It's much more suitable for him than a 30 or 60 day absence, and he was very frank about it. This sparked fire amongst the MMA community, and people were furious at his lack of penalization. Up next, Ramsey Najim's thoughts on the matter. Retired fighter Najim took to Twitter to express just how incredible he was. Twitter operates in a language of sarcasm, and he made full use of it. He tweeted about his own experience being suspended for marijuana use, mocking White's comments about punishment. He said that the nine months he was suspended for using weed wasn't enough. Instead, he should have been labeled as a weed user. The actual suspension isn't necessary. You just need to be known as one. He topped this off with the same thing Dana said, which was that he has to live with this the rest of his life. For context, he tested positive for a marijuana test back in 2019 when he was in the Professional Fighters League. His tweet went viral, getting 7k likes. What's more, a lot of people were questioning him in their replies, asking him why he was smoking weed in the first place. To that, the fighter simply said that because he was in America and he felt like it. He did do the time, so what's the issue, right? And now, Al Laquinta's response to Najim. Ramsey's tweet was gold for other fighters who wanted to show how they didn't approve of White's comments. One of them was La Quinta, a one-time lightweight title challenger. It started this trend where fighters retweeted his tweets with their past mistakes and mocked the UFC president's statements. It was a field day on Twitter. He wrote that back when he was suspended from winning bonuses from three fights, it should have been done differently. See where this is going? Yep, he said that a better punishment would have been the public labeling him as a crowd-cursing hotel wrecker. Last but not least, old comments with Ann White's new ones. Other than the info his mom revealed, another thing from his past came up. This time, it's his very own words. In 2014, White told Fox Sports Live that hitting a woman is the one thing you can never be redeemed from. There are absolutely no exceptions for that, and he said that himself. Fast forward to 2023, and he slapped his wife multiple times. During the press conference, he even said that the entire thing was crazy because he has seen himself as an advocate against misogyny and domestic violence. He even took it to the extent where he claimed that having a whole conversation about it at the time was insane. As for Anne, she told TMZ that his slap was very out of character and something he wouldn't normally do. Nothing like that had ever happened before, and the two of them were drinking a lot on New Year's Eve. Things got way out of control, and she emphasized that it was on both sides. He claimed that she had slapped him first, and she confirmed that by saying that both of them did it. Now they're trying to patch it together as a family and working towards not being violent with each other. Keeping that in mind, a lot of people aren't satisfied with White's lack of repercussions and aren't holding back their thoughts on what should be done. Well, that's all for this video, folks. What do you think of Dana White's mom exposing him after he slapped his wife? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you in the next video.